of the common denominators of a base nature creature is it just hit me like a ton of bricks there's always a common denominator to every creature is the base nature creature projects their stuff onto others they project their stuff onto others that's their base nature see they have no identity that's the that's another thing they have no identity so they have to get their identity from another person they have to attack another person with lies and half truths and everything else to make them look bad to build themselves up that's base nature creatures it's the same thing you learned in high school but they never grew up they just they just learned to cloak it better to keep a job or to keep social media or whatever they're doing you know their base nature and so they project it onto others what's really in them and they try to steal the identity See, if they can't steal your identity, if you're way above, if you've uh, transcended above this 3D matrix in the inner man, uh, they can't touch you. They don't even understand you. They can't even hear you. So they gotta make stuff, because you're not like them anymore, you're, you're way up here and they're way down here. They don't understand you. And to try to talk to them is like, Pulling that, you have to understand where they're at or what level they're on just to even talk to them. Because if you tell them the whole truth in one little bite, they they would choke on it. If you give them if you give them a glass of water and say drink the whole glass at one time, they choke on it. They they're not able to handle handle it. And most people are in legalism and Jezebel, Jezebel spirit. And to try to pull them out of that is like. They're going to have to go through the trouble themselves. They're going to have to go through the, the cycle and the Turing. And the, they're going to have to eventually look at themselves in the mirror. But most of them won't. They'll never. Most 98% of the people will never look at themselves. See, whatever it is, they cannot look at themselves. They have to blame somebody else. <clears throat> They're running the streets, playing the harlot, hoard them wine and new wine, take away the heart. They, their heart, they're destroying their own heart, but they have to project it onto somebody else. Somebody who has a good heart, clean heart, who's been sanctified, done the work, the inner sanctification, asking God to cleanse them, cl renew their mind. See, the problem with people is they wanna change God instead of letting God change them. That's the problem. They want to change they want to they want to come up with their own idea instead of God's idea. And you see it in Ephesians as clear as I'll get out. The man, as the man is head of the as Christ is head of the church, so is man head of the uh, head of the home. And so they you can just look at society trying to flip that one passage in Ephesians 5. And that tells you how upside down 98% of the people are. <clears throat> they get their doctrines from music. They get their doctrines from TV. They never crack open the Bible. They can't even rightly divide the Bible, much less crack it open to tr try to read it. They can't rightly divide it. And so they get their doctrines from uh, mankind instead of from God. It's a sad thing. So the base nature creatures, their common denominator is to project stuff onto other people that's really them. And they're never able to uh, be introspective. And it's always somebody else's fault. Those are the common denominators for a base nature creature. The spiritual creature understands love and truth, agape and truth. Now, I'm not talking about uh, Eros love. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about agape love. Love your enemy, love your neighbor. 
love those who persecute you, who lie about you, who say all manner of evil against you, love you. I mean, they think think about what they did to Apostle Paul. Think about what they did to Jesus. If you're an extraterrestrial, because you got the Holy Spirit outside of terrestrial, and they're only terrestrial, they don't have the Holy Spirit. They might have a demon, but that's not. That's that's a that's that's a hell that's a hell bound situation there. But they, the demon can't even continually possess them. He only, they only possess them for a moment, you know, and then they have to leave, you know. There might be some people who are demon possessed all the time. I guess the hive is running on the spirit of the age, so I guess it is uh, a spirit controlling them all the time. But you do see them come out of it, like for a minute, like for a split second, they wake up out of their delusion it's like somebody when somebody gets angry they 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 disconnect with who they really are they're letting the anger control them or whatever the greed the bitterness the unforgiveness they're under they're under the influence of uh, the spirit of the age but eventually they come out of it but they don't have the holy spirit if they're not saved and so their base nature and they're going to spiral downward and that's why they go into Satanism and witchcraft and sorcery and all that, because they're spiraling downward. There's nothing, gravity, the, the gravity of the matter is gravity. And so they're going to, the flesh mind spirals downward, the spirit mind spirals upward. They can't help it. They can't help it. It's just who they are. It's what they are. And so they see somebody who's spiraling upward, and so they want to vampire off that person and... Uh, psych psychic vampire and financially vampire and everything else they want to pull that person down because they can't keep up with the extraterrestrial you're faster you're smarter you're wiser you're not from here you're not like them you don't run with them to the same excess of riot the Bible says and so they hate you why does the flesh hate the spirit because they get convicted and that conviction of sin and conviction of their their <laughs> laziness conviction of their uh, stupidity the conviction of their uh, uh, wastefulness the conviction of being zombified the convi it's just like a zombie movie they're chasing you down they don't even know why they're going with the hive and so they're convicted of being stupid, lazy, dumb, sinful, hell-bound. And so they hate you. And they're going to speak all manner of evil against you because why? It's what they are. It's their identity. They're devils. They're demons. They're spiraling down. They have to be negative. They have to be anti. The anti is the Antichrist. Those that are in Christ are not anti. They're in union. They're in unity. They're in, they're, they agree with the will of God. See, these people are have their own will. And so they're anti, they're base nature, and they hate you because you convict them just by you walking in the room. So they got to make you look bad in front of other people because you're higher, way higher, way, way higher than them. I mean, you're so high above them with the truth that they can't even hear you. You speak another language. You speak another language. Even your body language is going to be a different language. Everything about you starts to transform away from the worldly wisdom into God's wisdom. And so you everything about you, your face, your 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 complexion, your your everything that you do. The way you dress, the way you think, the way you talk. But if you if you try to yoke up with them, every time I do the video, this one uh, notification shows up, tries to stop me. Wow, it's still running though.
everything about them is cursing and death and drunkenness and drugs and you know why do they smoke because they're going to hell where the smoke never goes away the smoke of their torment well, I mean don't that, that's the only thing I can figure why do they smoke because it's smoking in hell why do they curse because there's cursing in hell why do they lie lying in hell why do they defame defame in hell why do they blame others for their junk because everybody's pointing their finger at God in hell it's God's fault he made me this way I already know how they think you already know how the flesh creature thinks it's their fault it's your fault God always makes a way of escape for his saints but uh, saints can get into it and blame somebody else too but it's usually usually our own fault God usually God always makes a way of escape almost said usually God always makes a way of escape so their common denominator is project onto others blame others and never look at their self and always try to find something in somebody else that's legalism to the hill and Jezebel